In this video, we're going to talk about how to download and set up Bootstrap. Now, the first thing I want you to do is go to Bootstrap's homepage. And I will provide the link for that in the description of this video. And then what I want you to do is hit download. And you're going to come to this download page right here. And the version we're going to download is 3.3.7. Now, there is a version 4 that is in alpha, but really we only need to deal with 3.3.7. That has everything that we need to get going in Bootstrap. Now, what you want to do is hit this download Bootstrap button right here, and then you're going to download the software. So once that's done, I want you to go over here and click on this basic template. And you're going to open that up, and then I want you to highlight all this HTML right here. Highlight all of that and then right click and copy. Now, once you have that, I want you to go to this website folder, which you should have created. Sorry, I didn't mention that earlier. So I want you to create a website folder. And then what I want you to do is go ahead and create a new text document. And then we're going to go ahead and paste all of that HTML right into here. Now, this is the default template. This has everything that you basically need to start with a basic bootstrap web page. And we'll talk about some of these things in a few minutes. But first, I want you to save as. And then I want you to go ahead and select all files. And we're going to call this index.html. And we're going to hit save. And that should be it. Good. Now we've got our index.html. You can go ahead and get rid of that text document if you have one. And now what we're going to do is go ahead and copy the Bootstrap software into our website folder. And I want you to rename this. Now, if you want to keep an original copy of this, go ahead. But I'm going to go ahead and rename this, and we're just going to call this Bootstrap. All right, let's close this out. Now, next what I want you to do is go out to the jQuery website. And what I want you to do is hit the download button right here. And then what you want to do is download the production compressed version of jQuery. And you should end up with a file that has a .min extension. Now, what we're going to do is go ahead and rename this as well. And we're just going to get rid of the version. So we're just going to call this jQuery.min. That's all. And then copy that into your website folder. Good. We're making some progress here. All right. So let's go ahead and open up our index.html. We're going to edit that with Notepad++. If you do not have Notepad++, please go out and download that. You're going to need that for this series. That is the editor that we're going to be using. You can just go to Google and do a Google search on Notepad++, and you will find the download page, and it's a very, very easy install. Okay, so let's go ahead and walk through this first Bootstrap template that we're going to be using. Now, Bootstrap is an HTML5 framework, so you will need this doctype declaration. And that's why this is in this template. Basically, this will give us HTML5. And you'll remember that they changed this in HTML5, so this will always pick up the current version of HTML. You definitely want to set your language to whatever language you're using. In this case, it's English. Now, you will notice in this template, they have this one line right here. Read this very carefully. The above three tags must come first in the head, and any other head content must come after. And they are referring to these three lines right here. You can basically just forget about these, but you need these first three lines, and that's why they are in this template. You really don't have to think about them much more than that. I will tell you, though, that the UTF is used for security. That's one of the primary reasons. That's why they have that here. This next meta tag has to do with compatibility with the latest version of IE. In this case, it's Edge. So that's why they have added this second line here. Bootstrap is considered a mobile-friendly framework. In fact, they will call it a mobile-first framework. And basically, that's what this setting does right here. It will ensure that mobile browsers render your web page correctly. So that's why you need this meta tag right here. Now let's talk about the CSS style sheet that Bootstrap provides. And in this case, it's already pointing to the folder. But we have another layer here, right? So let's go ahead and actually just slide this over. And let's open up our website again. And let's open up our Bootstrap folder. And here you see our CSS folder is right here. And we're going to be using this bootstrap.min folder. This is sort of similar to jQuery, where they have a minimum production-ready CSS and JavaScript file. And this is the same for Bootstrap. We're just going to go ahead and use the same one that they're referencing. But you'll notice that we have a Bootstrap folder right here. They are starting it out at the CSS folder. So we need to put in, um, we need to put in the Bootstrap folder here so it finds the CSS file. So we're just going to write in bootstrap and a slash for the folder. 
There, that's good. Now the bootstrap CSS file will be found. Now, we're really not worried about these definitions for shim and respond. We may talk about these later, but I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of all of this right now. It's commented out, but it's a little junk in here that we just don't need right now. So let's go ahead and just get rid of all of that. And now we have a cleaner head element. Good. And here you can see they've just put in a default here, H1, with the hello world. And we'll load the web page in a minute just to make sure everything's working. Now, you can point to a CDN if you want for jQuery. You can see the default template has that. But of course, we downloaded our own jQuery file. So we're just going to go ahead and point to that. And we know that that was called jQuery.min.com. Dot js so we can go ahead and just get rid of all of this we don't need this anymore and that should be picked up there we go now we've got our jquery.min.js which is in our root folder so we should find that just fine so let's go ahead and actually save this now now you might be asking well why do we need to reference a jquery file well they tell us right here it's necessary for bootstrap's javascript plugin and it's the same thing we also need a javascript file and as you can see our bootstrap folder that we downloaded earlier already has a javascript file that we can use we just need to go ahead and put in that bootstrap folder again and there we go. So let's go ahead and save this now and let's load it up and make sure everything's working just fine. And it is. Good. So that's all we really need to get going early on. We have everything we need in this default template. So we're good to go. I also will create a link to this source as well if you want my edited version. Okay, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.